how do you do? This was 32 True Blue. Gonna let you today. Uh, I decided to make a, a video review of all my Christmas gifts I got this year. I bought this. Uh, came in a package. It ain't much. I really didn't want much. I just need something. Some kind of radio to go with my 1991 Toyota. Uh, uh, yes, as you know, that's, that's what I drive is a 1991 Toyota. Probably might just do a walk around uh, about it later. But I just needed something to go in there. Some new speakers and I'm going to blow out all the rest of my speakers. Uh, the speakers I got are some boss. I really don't know them all. I think they're... I saw a pair of them. I don't forget the name of them. But they're 240 watt uh, peak power speakers. Uh, 120 watts per pair, really. Uh, the frequent... Uh, what the specs say on it. Is... Yeah, a frequency sweet spot. 75 hertz. Minus... I don't even know about all this junk and all of is I tried them out the other day in my old Bobo radio and they sounded pretty nice compared to you know, the standard Toyota 4 inch. Uh, they work real good as you see in this radio though. Uh, it's got MP3 audio output compatible. Uh, means you can put the USB in there and uh, just do all kinds of junk with it. I really don't know. I haven't used the actual radio yet. Uh, they say it's really, you know, play songs right off your iPod and all that. I really don't care about for that. What I really am going to use is aux cord. And I like that because one of my friends has got an aux cord and his we always used it more than we used the actual CD player. Uh, you know. And the USB in my truck it does not have a car charger. So guess what? On my iPhone I'll be using this here USB for <laughs> the charging. Uh, from what I say I, I reckon I'll do the unboxing. I, I have already opened it up. A lot of people say is it a Unboxing reviews and they said they never opened it up, which in real term I actually have. And I have opened mine up, but I've laid it all back in place. The only things that are out of it is just these little user manuals. Uh, they got some, they got two. One's in Spanish, one's in English, and Spanish you really don't need, of course, if you speak in English. And another thing that I encourage you to, to like to uh, register your product. Useless, you know, useless junk. Uh, reckon I'll do these unboxing. Got it on tape. There's some tapes around here. Two on each side, so we just do what you need. First thing. Look at speakers. I already opened up this one. The, this one I actually listen to. And, oh, they got some guards that goes with it, these things. And I'll put them in there. I'm going to have to do a custom fabrication job on my Toyota because they will not fit up front, I found out. So I already tried to install this on the radio one day and couldn't figure out that it's not fitting in front considering Toyota makes 4 inch speakers and 4 inch speaker mounts in the front. And as you can tell, these are not four inch, they are six and a half. Uh, real loud speaker, especially. Make me turn out loud being that thing. Uh, looks 
real nice with a with a little guard on it. A lot of people puts on, a lot of people don't. My brother, he used to have some. And he took them off. He just likes it. You know, you get a lounge on, go and start seeing that lounge. You we'll always put our hands down there and feel it. Which I really don't care if it's going to be in the back. Not in the doors like most people do it. Because they might tell you to do it. Really, most people. And right to another one tell you to. You cannot mind them in the doors. Uh, it's virtually impossible. Really, because we're on this speaker. Because. Uh, the, there's a hole in the door that most people mount there's a small four and a half and five inch, you know, people mounting kind of small speakers, you know, mounting the door with that little hole. Well, mine's obviously, mine's too big. So the plan we got going, we got a little piece of wood we're going to put, if you got a 1991 Toyota, or really any kind of Toyota pickup, there's a little door specific compartment right there. And then Stimmy Cab, if you got a Stimmy Cab especially, where a door is, we're we'll going to take the doors out, obviously, to save them, just in case, because I ain't going to have this truck forever, we're going to take the radio out of it. The piece of wood right there where the door is supposed to be, mount the speakers on the piece of wood. Which I'll probably put some kind of camouflage or rebel flag or thing over the wood to make it look good. Uh, but that's what that's my plan for it, considering you know Toyota ain't the biggest truck of all. Those two speakers I can see. Styrofoam bulletproof. is the head unit. Uh, it's kind of neat that Boss actually put there separately because it's a removable head, head, head unit. I had to put this in a nice little case. Nice looking head unit. As you can see right there. Very nice when it's, it's supposed to light up blue I reckon. And uh, you know Again, I haven't really tried it out. Can't wait to. I'm probably going to do it tomorrow or the next day. Or the next day or probably after dog season. Uh, he's got this junk. Which I looked it up on. The, well, there's two of them. I looked it up on the internet. But that's, you can't get two... your uh, radio and it connects to the truck wires or whatever little junk you got going on but uh, I reckon I made that when I was using it all this right here that's well uh, already got out I haven't really got to the actual radio yet I haven't uh, unboxed it yet uh, so I don't know what it's going to look like and, uh, we're going to get this much truck will come out of it. That's also the brackets. The screws in there, washers and whatnot. And here's the radio. Got some styrofoam. Let's keep that up there. I want to keep it all intact so when I actually do it with it all up. Don't want to take it out of here yet because it's got all kinds of junk up in it. Got this junk. I, I think that's that uh, stuff supposed to keep it. I thought that uh, that stuff you know you find in shoes and stuff. That I know is the two shipping screws. I'll keep all the junk safe. Make sure nothing doesn't break. Uh, you know, that's the mammoth sleeve that they always talk about. It's supposed to be anti-auto theft. So, there should be two keys up in here that you put. Should be right there and right there. That's 
put him in to take this system out. Uh, got a nifty desire. Not very big. If we found out it will fit in two together. That what what a head unit would. Oh, uh, without the head unit. Them sashes with red tags right there. That. Like you can get a good picture of it. But that's what it looks like. All the little dots and the screen. And that little thing. Because you click on the back of the head unit. That. Is, looks like it fits just right. See how many little dots are getting them little dots. And we just have a good old tire. I'll be it. Uh, more than likely show an installation video of, uh, of the speakers and of the radio and um, after that I'll probably do walk around around my truck it's mostly custom in that truck nowadays I, after it's been mine and not daddy's I put a lot of stuff into it you know so uh, thank you for watching uh, you just subscribe comment do whatever the God's name you want to do Notice your life. Thank you for watching. Uh, come back and see me later. 32 Tribune.